Hi, I'm Gav. I'm Billy. I'm Jeremy. And we are the F2. And today we're going to talk about mental health and pressures to be a man. Am I? I don't know. Really Do you guys think there's a stigma around talking about mental health issues if you're a guy? Young men uh, are less vocal about certain topics. Why do you think that is? I don't know, maybe it's something about a macho-ness and an expectation um, to, be, to be a man and always be strong. But the truth is, everyone has their struggles and young men should be encouraged to speak about any issues that they might be dealing with and not be um, laughed at if, they, if they're communicating what's, what's going on inside. And are there any ways that you guys can think of that might make it easier for boys to talk about mental health? It helps when you talk to a stranger almost. You can get a lot more off your chest, you can be a lot more honest with the situation. If you've got issues that you feel people might judge you on, you really keep them inside. But that's the worst thing you can do because you can never release them. The moment I did go and speak to the doctor myself, I felt a relief, a weight off my chest, my shoulders were lifted. Sometimes people might think that they're they're not aware that they've got a mental health issue. Um, I know I wasn't, I just thought that's the way my life was. My dad's passed away, I've got two career threatening injuries, um, our warehouse burnt down and all this stuff built up over two years. And um, I just thought that was me, which is in a dark, dark, dark place. Um, but it wasn't me, um, I changed over time, but I just wish I would have just got help earlier because I put myself through torture for two years. Um, my, my way out was drinking alcohol and that's the way I'd escape from it but then the cycle gets worse because then when you come back from drinking alcohol you feel worse so my, my release and my solution was a negative one whereas talking to people opened up a whole new world of actually we identify that and we can make it better. People are very open about talking about not being 100% healthy physically but like you said that mental health stigma they don't want to say, I might not be 100% mentally healthy, but there's no shame in not being, and probably the majority of people aren't. Same mm. way the majority, if you said to me, are you 100% physically healthy? No, I'm not. My body's got little things that are not perfect. Mm -hmm. And the same way people aren't ashamed about being physically not 100%, they shouldn't be ashamed to be not mentally 100%, and there's people that can help you. So you guys talked about talking to a doctor, um, but is there anyone else you could recommend boys talk to? I would sort of kind of assess my friends, how I think they're going to react to something. Um, it's important you pick the right person because you don't want to take a backward step by coming out and speaking, but whether it's an adult, whether it's a family member, whether it's a friend, I mean the child line are there 24 seven. Just try and give them a call and just see where it goes. You've lost nothing by trying. I think uh, for a lot of people, uh, for myself included, football and sport can be a good release um, and can help you with kind of mental health problems. Playing football does release something because what it does, it takes you away from your situation. When you're focusing on football, I don't know about you, Jez, but I am free. All I'm focusing on is that game and you're getting a sweat on because exercise is so good as well. Like for me, people that are suffering with depression and stuff, you don't feel motivated to go and exercise. But it's that's, like a cycle. But that's it? Yeah, yeah, it's a cycle, but that's exactly what you need to do. There are pressure as well because you're around a group of people. Um, you might not be playing good and that's getting to you. There's a bit of a culture in football where it can be a bit savage at times. Um, With like competition between football people. Football banter. Or football banter is savage. So obviously talking to someone is like a really good way to help your mental health. Uh, but sometimes that can feel quite hard. Um, is there anything that you guys would recommend, like smaller things that people could try? Finding something that actually is pleasurable to do and takes you away from a situation can give yourself a break you know I think that's really important I would say waking up early like that's that people say that's what's that got to do with mental health but waking up early exercising eating well looking after your physical body meditation um, doing the things that you love doing uh, one other thing as well is that people might find us are struggling with depression or a mental health illness, um, that it, you have up and downs. The worst thing you do when you feel down is you, you think that's your life from there onwards and you think that's forever. So just yeah. to think, I'm gonna live for today, get through this moment and wake up tomorrow morning and it's gonna be a fresh yeah. day and I might feel better, that's really important. This is gonna sound like a funny one. <laughs> this is something that we do sometimes. So if we get trolled on Twitter, someone says something really nasty, you write out the tweet, but you don't send it. 
So it's just something about it just gets a little release. Like you write out your response. You write out this. You write out your response. You get it out. You get it out your system without actually sending it out there. Have so, you ever done that and accidentally press send? No. no, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, deliberately like, press send a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, I meant to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There may be people out there who really feel that they they can't speak to anyone, and we want you to know that you can. But there might be a period of time where you're building yourself up to that. And it could help to just write down how you feel or just speak it into a voice note for yourself. But it's still a form of expression which mm. can be a step towards expressing to another person. Even if you're not suffering with mental health illness and you're watching this, um, maybe sp mm. identifying someone that might be struggling mm. and just ask them, is everything okay? Do you want to speak to me about something? Thanks so much for coming in, guys. It's been really good to chat to you. Thanks. Pleasure. And we'll see you next time.